<laughs> hey, this is Marjorie, and uh, you remember the other video I did where I was talking about how uh, I was going to turn a chest freezer into a refrigerator? Well, this morning I was at a plant and seed swap party that I co-host. Um, uh, by the way, build community, right? The easiest way is just to host a party where people come and plant, you know, they, they trade Swedes and plants and stuff. And we do it, one, here's a key tip for any event you're organizing, is set it on a regular schedule. So our party is uh, the third Saturday um, of, of the, every, every odd month. So in January, March, May, July, September, November, third Saturday, everybody gets to know that's when it's happening. Of course, we do send out tons of reminders and all that, but it makes it rhythms, and that way it's easier for people to remember. They, don't, they can expect it. Anyway, while I was there, uh, and shout out to Natalia for hosting us. She has a lovely Green Bowl Cafe there. Right next door was the mail store, and woohoo! The, uh, the package for the thermostat came in. I just set it up, so I'm going to just show you a little bit of what, about what I'm doing and how I'm turning this chest freezer into a super efficient refrigerator. Now let me turn this around. So first of all, and this is not a full unboxing video, but it came just in this box. And this is uh, the, 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 you know, the box it, it came in, Inkbird. The most important part of this are these instructions, which I am going to tell you, I saw it in one of the reviews. Can you believe reviews on Amazon? It had like 3,000 reviews. I think some of them were genuine. Anyway, they said it was a little bit complicated, and they are right. It is a little bit complicated. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to, like, take photographs of this and then put it in like five different file names in five different locations on my computer so that maybe I'll be able to find it in the future when I need it. Because uh, it's not very intuitive, but it's great. Like, this is a solid piece of equipment, uh, clearly, you know, waterproof and um, you just sturdy and with a lot of functionality. And so the way it works is you plug the temperature controller here, the thermostat device, into the power, and then, then you plug the freezer into one of these plugs on the thermostat control. And this thermostat controller actually has a lot more capability. It also has a plug that you could use for a heating, a heater, if you like really wanted to dial in the controls on something that was important to you. I don't. I only need it to monitor, you know, to keep my cold going. And then this is the uh, temperature sensor, which I have just uh, coming into the back end of this chest freezer. And you can see I just kind of got it dangling here in the middle of the chest freezer. I've got it set to, I think, 35 degrees or something like that. So whenever this gets above 35 degrees, the, uh, the compressor, the temperature thing will turn on the compressor. The way I'm organizing this is um, this bag is full of like meat and vegetables. Down below, these are um, just containers that are full of water uh, and they're thermal ballast. And the idea with that is the, the power, I live here in Puerto Rico and the power goes out every week. You can guarantee that the power is going to go out every week for a couple of hours and then sometimes a couple of days. So by having these basically buckets filled with water, they stay cool and they stay cold the whole time. So even if the power goes out for a couple of hours, if I don't open it up too much, this is going to stay fine. It'll stay cool just fine. So that's there. These are, of course, you know, a couple of these slider. Can I actually have another one somewhere. I can't find it. I'm going to find it someday. Stuff and then, you know, just, uh, you know, just using it as a refrigerator. I don't normally drink dairy product, but I'm doing this experiment where I'm culturing lactobacillus reuteri and lactobacillus gasseri, uh, gut, super critical gut bacteria. And uh, I'll make a video on that and what I'm doing. So um, flip this around. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> hey, I'm upside down. Uh, so yeah, really simple little setup here. I think this is going to be super, super efficient. My friend Shannon has a, um, a device that we can plug in here to measure and monitor how much power is actually being used. So I'm going to set that up when I borrow it from Shannon, set it up and run it for a couple of days, a couple of weeks and let you know. But um, as we're getting, you know, if you're living in a place where you're off grid 
or if you really need to conserve on energy because you, you know, want, can't afford to pay for it. Um, this is a pretty good solution. It's obviously not as convenient as having a full stand-up refrigerator, but, uh, and, and again, I'll measure it for you, but I think, I think this is going to be amazing. So I just wanted to show you the very simple. The thing, so I think it was $35 on Amazon. And uh, so, and now I'm just going to give you a quick moment of cuteness. Hey, kitties. You going to say hi to everybody? So uh, Amelia is the gray one. And Michu, which is a Puerto Rican name for a cat, is the tiger stripe one. And they have been, they've been helping me unpack, theoretically. Okay. All right. Well, I will, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, make it a great one. Have a fantastic day today. And remember, this moment is wonderful.